Have you ever looked at a photographer on say Instagram or Facebook and then wondered how they get such amazing vibrant colours to just pop right out of the image? Well, I'm going to show you today how to use something called HSL. This is U, Saturation and Luminance. And this is a tool in Lightroom which will enable you to create vibrant colours in your photos. Without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. Hi everyone, Ben Taylor here and I'm coming to you today from Barbados. It's actually England, but it feels like Barbados because of how warm it is here. I want to say a big thank you to everyone in the world of YouTubes and the Facebooks for joining me for today's video. Today, we're discussing the HSL tool in Lightroom. HSL stands for U, Saturation and Luminance. U means colour, so you can change the U, you can change the colour. Saturation means intensity, so if you make an image more saturated, it's going to be more intense. If it's less saturated, you guessed it, it's going to be less intense. Luminance is finally how light or dark a colour can be. So you can change this as well in the HSL option. Okay, so now that I've explained to you basically the three key components of this tool, let's jump in and start learning how you can use it. So this is the image which we're going to be working with today. It's a beautiful landscape image and I love the way the road just pulls your eye right through the image. I know you landscape photographers watching this video will really enjoy that nice leading line. Okay, so we've got this image. We're going to be working with this today. If you want to join along, then all you need to do is go onto the description area in YouTube, click the link and you'll be able to download it. Alternatively, go onto the world of Facebooks and you can click the link in the description there. Okay, so you've got the photo, you're following along. Now let's, let's go and have a look at where the HSL sliders are. Okay, so the HSL sliders can be found here. So go on to develop, click there and come down to HSL. And if you click on the drop down, you can see that you have the three options right at the top. You've got U, Saturation and Luminance. The first thing I like to do is I like to change the saturation. Now if you really look at this image, you can see that we have probably three main colours in it. We've got the green, the forefront, we've got the blue at the back in the mountains, the way it comes down, and we've also got a bit of orange and maybe red in the rock and the shale right at the forefront. So these are the three colours that we're going to be working on mainly today. So I'm going to start with the green and the yellow, which can be found here. I'm going to push the saturation right up. You can see there that that's really brought this colour intensity right through. I'm also going to do the same with the green and bring it up there. That's made a lot of difference straight away. I'm then going to move on to the blues. So I'm going to grab my blue slider and I'm going to push that up. And that's going to add in the intensity of the blue as well. Finally, I'm going to just add a little bit of intensity to the shale and the rock here, just the orange colour. So I'm just going to push that up to about there and that will do. That's just nice. Okay, so we've intensified the main colours in the image. Now, the image was lacking any kind of real colour to start with. Sure, it had the colours in, but they just weren't really intense enough and they didn't really pop out of the image. So that's what we're working with right now and we're going to change in this photo. So now we've changed the saturation, let's move along to U. Now remember, U means colour. So we're going to change the colour. So for instance, if I wanted to make this yellow more yellow, then I can. If I wanted to change it towards more of a green colour, then I can also do that. So if I grab my yellow slider, I'm going to drag this towards the greens on the right hand side, and you can see that I've changed the yellow into more of a green. And that's what I actually want to do. I much prefer this nice, vibrant green colour. Okay, I'm also going to do the same with the mountains here. In fact, Looking at the mountains, I quite like this dark blue the way it is, so I'm not going to change it much. But we can have a look 
just moving the slider either way at the kind of change it would make. So if I drag the blue down, you can see it makes it more cyan. If I drag it up, it's going to make it more purple like that. So right in the middle where we had it originally, it's really nice. Okay, finally, do I want to change the shale colour here? I don't. I actually think it's quite nice, this orange colour. It looks quite earthy, and I think keeping that, that kind of nice orange colour is going to be great. Finally, move on to luminance. So we've worked on the saturation and the U, now we're going to move on to luminance, which is the light and the darkness of the colour. So, what I want to do with the colour in the image is I want to darken down the green and I want to darken down the blue. Now, if you're wondering why I want to do that, it's because I want to really accentuate the leading line in this image. I want the viewer to really look at the road and be pulled right through the image, right to the back where the middle of the valley is. So just following this line right through to the back here. To do that, we want to darken down the areas on the outside, which are these colours, so that you're drawn towards this light area which stands out more. So I'm going to grab my yellow and I'm going to bring the yellow down, make it darker, and the green. And I'm also going to do the same with the blue. That's lovely. I really like the way you can just see. You can see the colour and it's vibrant and it stands out. But you're really drawn right through to the back of the image there. That's fantastic. So you can see the way the HSL sliders have really changed the colours in the image. Now, a way to even see this more is to look at the image at the start before we made the changes and then to look at the image after. So to look at the image to start just press the backslash key on your keyboard. This is the beginning before we made any changes. It's quite dull and uninspiring and this is the after. Absolutely beautiful. Now it's a really simple thing to do. Just from watching this video you're going to know now that you'll be able to make changes with the HSL sliders and you're going to feel comfortable in the knowledge that it's really easy. It's not something that you're going to get you know, mixed up with. It's not complicated. You'll be able to feel comfortable doing it and get to grips with it right off the bat. Okay, there's one last thing I want to do to this image. Now, this is kind of like a little bonus tip. And what I want to do is I want to sharpen up this area here. And it's very important because at the moment, when I look at this image, my eye is drawn through, but it kind of ends there. It's because this bit here is not sharp enough and it's, it's not kind of drawing my eye right through the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this here, which is an adjustment brush. This is going to enable me to make a change to just a specific area in the image. I'm going to press this option down here. And this is going to enable me to paint over a mask on the image. Now don't worry too much about this. It just shows me the area that I'm painting over. It's like a visual reference. Now I'm going to get rid of this because I can see I painted over that bit of the valley which I wanted to. I'm going to make sure my effect is on sharpness. I'm going to push this right up. And look how that's intensified this middle bit of the valley here. And now it's just drew your eye right through the image, right to the end. So, to sum up, if you want to make your colours pop out of the image, use the HSL sliders inside of Lightroom. Even better, they are easy to use, quick, simple, everything you want when you're editing a photo. If this is your first time landing on the page, then I'm going to give you a bit of insight. I make Photoshop, Lightroom and photography tutorials. So if you want to learn more about these three cool, amazing things, which I enjoy myself and I hope you do, then you should definitely hit that subscribe button round about now. Otherwise, if you're watching on Facebook, then hit like or hit follow or whatever other options they give you to hit, hit it. Okay, guys, I hope you've had a great time watching this video and whatever you do today, have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.